Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be discussing commutative property on binary operation. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Commutative property states that for a binary operation to be considered as commutative, it should satisfy this a asterisk b equals b asterisk a. So it means that even if you arrange the terms in different order, it will result to the same answer. Let's use this first example. Suppose we will take two members of a real numbers. Say, for example, those are A and B. And we will operate them using this binary operation percent. Defined by A percent B is equal to 5A plus 5B plus quantity AB squared. We have to prove that this is commutative. In order to prove that, we have to establish that A percent B is equal to B percent A. This time, we will not be selecting examples or representatives for real numbers. Instead, we will be working on variables itself. We will operate this side first. Afterwards, we will operate this side. At the end, they should be equal to each other. What I'm telling is like this. A percent B. The first term or the first number should be multiplied to 5. So this is 5 times A. The second number B should be multiplied to 5 as well. So 5B. And then for the last term, you multiply the two numbers and then square their product. So we have AB squared. 5 times A is 5A. This is 5 times B or 5B. And this is using the laws of exponents. This will be A squared, B squared. So this is our answer for A percent B. Let's now look at B percent A. Again, we will use the first term, multiply it to 5. So this will be 5 times B. And then our second term or second number is A. That will be multiplied to 5 as well. And then multiply the two terms or the two numbers and then square their product. We have B times A squared. 5 times B is 5B. 5 times A is 5A. Using the loss of exponent here, we have b squared, a squared. So if you may notice, this looks like the first answer. Let us rearrange this second answer. Again, we are just rearranging. So there is no point of changing the sign of the terms. For this part, we will be writing or we will be starting with the first letter in the alphabet, which is a squared plus b squared. So if you may notice, these two are equal, meaning we have A percent B is really equal to B percent A. Therefore, percent, the binary operation percent, is commutative. Next example, we have a different operation here, beta. A beta B is equal to negative 3 plus A raised to the power of B. We have to think if this is commutative. So you may pause this video and use the first example as a reference on how we will prove the second example. After 10 seconds, we will resume to check your answer. So we have to prove that A, beta B, is equal to B, beta A. Let's start with the first one. We have here A, beta B. We have negative 3 plus the first term should be the base and the second term should be the exponent. So by looking at this, it seems like we cannot do anything about it. We cannot simplify or combine these two. So we will leave it as like that. Let's start with the second side of the equation. We have B beta A. This time we still have negative 3 
plus. However, this first number, which is P, will be the base. And A here will be the exponent. So if you may notice, negative 3 plus A raised to B is obviously not equal to negative 3 plus B raised to A. Simply because, by simple observation, we can say that the placing of the variable here, A raised to B and B raised to A, are really different. So we can say that this binary operation beta is not commutative for the real numbers. So that's it for the commutative property. Take note that when we are dealing with commutative property, even if we interchange the position of A and B in that binary operation, we should still result to an equal answer. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.